Hi everybody, this is Ral Hawcat back at you again with another cool video. Today, we're in the middle of winter and it is, oh my God, it's 60 degrees out. It's winter, 60 degrees. I don't even know if I should be wearing a hoodie. I should probably be wearing a t-shirt and shorts, but I don't know. It's This weather's just been crazy because yesterday it was 31 degrees. Tomorrow's gonna be 33 degrees. We are in the middle of winter, but it's good that today is 60 degrees because this will give me an opportunity to do a nice outdoor project for the track log. And what is this project? Hmm, you know the thumbnail, you know the title. Let me get the box. Stow and show time. Yes, we're gonna do the stow and show for the track log. Yes, we've already done the stow and show for the Hellcat. Now we're gonna do for the track log. We just got this box in a couple weeks ago and now it's time to install this because when I first got this, it was way too cold to do an installation. Now we're gonna do it today. So without further ado, let's get started. First, we'll do a quick unbox. See what's in the package. It's probably easier to do it this way. Let me get my scissors. As I have the, the track walk backwards, we're gonna to have to spin that around. Let me just take this out. And this is gonna be the same setup that we did with the Hellcat. The only difference is, is that we're gonna to have to make an educated decision. As to the location of where this is going to go. So, I'm going to take this out of the box real quick and show you the pieces. I think there's only a couple pieces with this. All right. First, we have the uh, instructions with a few uh, nuts and bolts. Put this off to the side. We'll take a look at that later. All right. Next. Next, we have the actual stow and show plates. So let me just take this out real quick. So this is the stow and show plate. So basically, you mount your plate, your license, your front license plate here. These are the tubes that are going to slide into what we bolt to the track walk uh, bumper. And this, by the way, will be for uh, both the Jeep Grand Cherokee track walk, and this is also compatible with the Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT. Uh, don't think it's compatible right now with the other, with the other Jeep Grand Cherokees because of the uh, the way the bumpers together but I know that this one will fit both the Trackhawk and the SRT so this is what's gonna slide in and it's a little bit windy today too so hopefully you don't hear too much wind noise we can paint this all right so this is the plate this is the plate that's gonna be what we're gonna install on the Trackhawk uh, it's probably either going to go like this or it's going to go like this, but nonetheless, you basically, you're going to, there's a pin here. here. I'll show you. There's a pin here and you pull it out and basically what will happen is this will slide in here. Oh, looks like it's going to go this way. All right. So at least we know which way it's going to go. So it slides in like that. You pull the pin out. slide it in wait for it to click once it's clicked it's in place this is the way the front license plate will look and then when you want to take it out and I would suggest you take it out for any time you take it to the car wash take it on the drag strip or if it's bad weather where there's salt on the roads you want to take this out other than that this is the state of New Jersey A front license plate is required now that we have the new personalized plate for the track hawk we're now gonna put the personalized plate on the front plate and uh, that's about it. So what are we going to do next? Uh, we're going to flip this around and I'll show you my dilemma as to the uh, location placement for the track walk. So bear with me one moment. We're going to flip this around. I'll be right back. I don't think this is going to be a cold start. I was just out before the post office. So let's see what we got. Yeah, it's a warm start. Warm start. Warm starts never get old. Cold starts never get old. I digress. I had to, that's why I started the video like this because I wanted you to hear. I always want to hear the track walk. By the way, um, being that it's the it's now 2020, I'm looking forward to changing the exhaust sound. So it's a little bit nice and quiet now, but it won't be for long. And I'll let you know in a few days which uh, exhaust I'm going to go with. I did a lot of research on this, and uh, yeah, the decision had to be made, and I already made it. So without further ado, let me flip this around. We're going to finish what we got started here. We'll talk about the exhaust later. But I just figured I'd uh, start it up for you. So let me just flip it around. I'll be right back.
Okay, we flipped it around. Notice I gave it a little bit of gas and she shut off. Well, that's uh, by design because when you do the uh, remote start, you try to hit the gas. When you haven't turned on the on button, it will automatically shut off for safety reasons. So that's actually a good thing. So this is the front of the track walk, as you all know. And according to the instructions, well, this is where I would have won. So if you, if you put drill holes in your front bumper, the license plate would go here. Um, because this is going to be mounted underneath the bumper, I would have liked it in the center, like right here. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, we don't have that option because we have the uh, adaptive cruise and this will block it. So, the decision that has to be made is do we do it on the driver's side or do we do it on the passenger side? That's something we have to decide on in one moment. Okay, so we have to make a decision. So, uh, I've seen people mount it on this side and I've seen people mount it on this side. And I'll show you where the mounting bolts are in a moment, but the decision has to be made. Which side do we put it on? Well, here's what I'm thinking. Uh, I know a lot of people put it on this side. That's where the inspection sticker is, and that's fine. Uh, but I'll show you what it does when we put the plate on. It's going to block a little bit of the air coming into the cold air intake. And since the cold air intake is on this side and it's not on that side, I think I'm going to mount it on the passenger side. So let me just show you what I'm talking about. Let me get my other camera out here it's the best it's the best angle that i can think of okay so this is the it's the passenger side so you see those these are the bolts let's see uh, it's gonna be this bolt here and this bolt here and this is the op opening for uh, cold air to get into the uh the engine bay it doesn't really attach anything it just kind of uh scoops the air out from underneath the car and puts it in the engine bay. The plate is gonna sort of go across this opening here. You can see where the bolts are. The plate's gonna cover just slightly. So my thought is better to put it on the passenger side than on the, uh, the driver's side. Let me just scooch over to the driver's side real quick. See the driver's side, same setup for the most part. So yeah. I think it would be best to put it on the uh, the passenger side. So that's what we're going to do today. So passenger side, driver side, passenger side, driver side. All right. So without further ado, let's take these bolts out, and then we'll start uh, get swapping some bolts, swapping some parts, and get this thing installed. Yeah, like I said before, this is for the Jeep Grand Cherokee Trackhawk, Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT. And you can tell if you're gonna be ordering this either from Stow and Show directly, or I bought it on the eBay store uh, for Stow and Show. Here's the uh, the code. It's uh, SNS110, SNS110. And also it's on the plate as well, SNS110. And of course, uh, it's also on the instructions. So SNS 110. And I know it says Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT on here, but it will fit the track walk as well. Their front bumper is almost identically the same. So let's get to it. So what I'll need is a, a 10 millimeter to get it off. 10 millimeter wrench. We're going to wrench it off right now. And then what you do is you're going, we're going to uh, take off the factory bolts. Then we're going to install it with the stow and show bolts and like we did with the hellcats the same philosophy the uh the factory bolts are going to be a little bit shorter the stow and show bolts are going to be a little bit longer and the reason for that is because you want to compensate for the thickness of this plate so that thickness will be extended with this bolt pretty simple um yeah let's do it all right so bear with me just one moment i won't be talking that much i'm just going to be unbolting this stuff and I'll be talking to you once uh, those two bolts are out. Okay. One bolt's done. Next. Next bolt.
Okay, whew. Not used to just laying on the ground like that. All right, so these are the bolts that I took out. I'll show you the bolts that we are gonna install here. Okay, so as you can see, let me take the washer out, give you perspective. That's the one thing when I ask, do I still use the washer? Ah, I don't think I do. Yeah, the washer, uh, it's not cooperating. Okay, so you're just gonna take my word for it. So with the washer, you can see how, that's how much more the bolt will be that Stow and Show sends you, which again, compensates for the fact that you wanna have everything secure in the bumper and you wanna also have the plate secure uh, when you install it. So this is the extra threads I gave you. The thread size are the same. The head size is the same. I'm not, I don't need to use this washer because this washer is what would have been needed to have something metal against the plastic. But now we have the big plate, so you don't need the washer. So two bolts, these two bolts you don't need anymore. So let's go to the next step. Okay, I'm looking at this. It's not an exact match. So see, see how this is angled? There isn't an exact match here on the illustration. So to decide which side is gonna go forward and which side's gonna go back. So we're gonna figure that out now. You know what, I think I had this right the first time. Let's just do it this way. Because there is a difference between this side and this side with the length of the width of the tube. So obviously it goes in like that. So if it's gonna go in like that, we're gonna put the plate in like that. Okay, pretty. Put it in just like that and i believe that's how it was with the the helicopter the pin was on the right hand side so this is the way the plate's gonna go i'm gonna mount it and then i'll show you what it looks like after it's mounted in fact let me just show you real quick what i have thus far with it not being mounted and then we'll come back okay so this is what it looks like right after i took out the bolts and you can see the holes are here and here so now Oh, here. So now I'm going to screw those in. We're going to mount it right now. Let's do this. Okay. Installation done. Now we're gonna connect it and I'll show you what it looks like without the plate on. Because the plate will be the next step. So this is, it's all ready to go. Uh, let's do this. So I'm doing two, two takes. So this is what it looks like from a distance. like after you snap it in so let me just give you a quick demo again on how I put it in up close okay so you can see where I mounted it they actually give you two placements so you have the bolt here and you have a, another space for where the bolt could go there and the same thing on this side same thing on that side and I actually tried it where it's more in the center but I just thought that uh, it would get in the way. I don't want anything to get in the way of the adaptive crew, so I chose to go with the plate going a little bit more to towards the outside of the vehicle versus the inside. But this is what it looks like mounted. So from a distance, you can see the holes. And uh, yeah. So now I'm gonna do a quick install. So basically, let's take it. Push it forward. Uh, I have to pull the pin. This is not really that great. Oh, okay. Pull the pin. I pull the pin, push it in, snaps into place. Not going anywhere. So, yeah, this looks really, really good. Another step. 
we'll have to visually look at it again when I put the plate on, but you know how before I put it on the first time, it was sort of lined up here. And I just thought when the plate comes, it's probably gonna come out to here. So by putting it here, the plate will probably come out to here and it won't get away in the way of the adaptive crews. So, all right, so the next step, let's put the plate on. All right, next step. Okay, so for that next step, let me get the plate. Okay, I have the track horse plate with me. Just in case cops give you a hard time about not having the plate, I'll just tell them, hey, it didn't come with a front license plate. I'm in the process of getting one ordered and here it is. So this will go on like that and we'll be legal. So without further ado, let's, uh, let's get the second part and the parts here. Okay, the next part is gonna be mounting this to this because the way it's gonna work is this is the the mount that I use, this is the same mount that I use for the back. Uh, if you remember when we, when I show you how, how I mounted the plate, you have this plate that goes on, and the plate goes inside, and then I have the carbon fiber that goes around this, and this will look sharp. So, first things first, before we can put this on, before we can put this on, we now have to put this on. So let's do that now. We get the parts, we get the pieces, we get the plan, we get the ingenuity. Now we just need the execution. And again, if you hear the wind noise, I do apologize. I don't think I need a washer. I'm gonna take the washers out. I'd rather have more room with the threads. Yeah, we're gonna have to dry fit with the frame because one thing I noticed it was kind of close. Yeah, we're definitely not gonna need washers. They have all these space they have all these spacers and washers and stuff. It's not necessary. Yes, they have these spacers, they have washers. With this extra piece of plastic, I'm not gonna need it. So and you gotta make sure that when you when you put it on, the nut is actually on this side and not the other side because the this is gonna stick out too far. So, putting the nut forward. Make sure that's centered. All right, now we're gonna use the screwdriver to tighten it. And use the Phillips screwdriver to tighten it. That's what they recommend. Next step, I'm just gonna dry fit it real quick without the plate, but just with the bracket. That's once I snap it in, it's gonna be a pain in the butt. Snap it in. Ah, yeah. See, I'm glad I did what I did. See how it's, it's right on the line. It's right, on, it's right on that line where the, where the adaptive cruise is. If I had it kicked over just that much more, it would have covered it. So using the old noggin, eh? <laughs> yeah, it looks good. All right, let's get the plate on because that's the whole point of this project. You can't get the plate on. My hair is all messed up. <laughs> it's so windy out here today. Stop looking at my ass. Screw that on. All right, we're getting there. We're going to dry fit this. See how it looks. And if it all looks good, snap on the carbon fiber and then we're done. <laughs> How's it look? Uh, I think it's looking sharp. It's looking really good. All right, so the last step is put on the carbon fiber frame, snap it back into place, insulation will then be done. Let's make sure they're 
nice and tight. going anywhere okay so carbon fiber piece goes like so like that it snaps into place really easily yeah Looks good. See now how the bolts are now covered. That looks really sharp. I love this thing. What a great invention. All right. Okay, so let's uh, snap it into place. Okay. Installation complete. Let's do a real close, uh, we'll do a quick close up and then we'll give you my final thoughts. All right, Stow and Show. Trackhawk plate. Looking sharp, looking good. I don't know. I think I like it. Now, the only question is would it look better on the other side? Well, I guess we won't know right now. We'll have to think about it. If we can't decide, maybe we'll put another bracket on the other side. And this way we can just switch it up whenever we want. We can put it on the right-hand side or the left-hand side, depending on if I take it to shows. But again, it's so, it's, <laughs> it's show and stow. <laughs> sometimes you want to show it, and sometimes you want to stow it. So we'll have to wait and see. But yeah, it looks really good. It looks really good. Installation complete. Didn't take that long. A couple decisions had to be made. Passenger side, driver's side, and uh, first hole or second hole for the bracket. But other than that, looks great. So we'll wrap up this video with my final thoughts. Okay, final thoughts. Installation complete. Looks great. Stow and show. Very simple. You want to show it. Or do you want to just stow it? Either way, let's show it. Okay. All right, so what are my final thoughts? Well, so first of all, I hope you enjoyed me installing this thing, and I hope you enjoyed the video. So what are my th final thoughts? Well, my testimony is this. I mean, I like the Stone Show better on the Hellcat for one reason, one reason only. You'll have one choice. You put it in the center. It actually almost takes the place of the OEM, and you don't drill any holes in the bumper. So I do like the Hellcat better. But for the track hawk, you can't put it in the middle, so you have to make some decisions. Do you put it on the driver's side? Do you put it on the passenger side? Do you make sure the bracket goes all the way to the furthest outside uh, hole, or do you bring it in a little bit? Well, that's what I did. I put it on the furthest outside hole. And I think, let me tell you, this looks absolutely fantastic. I can't tell you how much I love this. Um, yeah, I know that the it could have been put in the middle if we put drilled some holes in the bumper, but but when I take the plate off and there's no holes and there's no plate, it does look absolutely fantastic. So the stow part I love, the show part I love. It's a little bit off center. It's not blocking the adaptive cruise. I absolutely love this. Like I, like I said before, the only decision that has to be made going forward is. Do we keep it on the passenger side? Do we put it on the driver's side? I think we're going to do both. I really do. Because if I can get the other bottom plate for this side, I think for sure, I think it's better that I have both options. I think it looks great on this side. Maybe some days it may look great on the other side. I don't know. It all depends if I go to a car show and I see a whole bunch of guys with, with the plate on one side or the other. We'll have to make a decision at that time. But for right now, so in show is complete it is installed and it looks absolutely fantastic and i love it hope you enjoyed the video if you did enjoy the video please hit the like button if you haven't already subscribed please tap the subscribe button and tap the bell notification so you can be up to date with more videos that i post up we still have more mods coming for the track hall we have more mods coming for the hellcat uh for all those that have already subscribed and are my og original subscribers please thank you 
for subscribing. We're very, very, very close uh, to the 300 subscriber mark. By the time that I recorded this video, we're still under 300. Maybe by the time I post this video, we'll be over 300, which would be great and fantastic. So, but I thank all each and every one of you for subscribing. And then, like I said, for those that haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the install. Stow and show. Stow and show for the track hog or for the Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT. Thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. It is windy right now in New Jersey. It's now 58 degrees. It was in the 60s, now it's 58 degrees. It's supposed to go down to 33 tonight. So I better get inside before I freeze my butt off. At least I was sweating for a little bit. Now I'm just starting to get a little bit chilly. It is windy, windy, windy. Enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Happy 2020 again. Thanks again for watching. And without further ado, you know how we end this. We always go peace, 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 peace. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day. Peace.